When Oregon Ducks coach Mario Cristobal was asked about scheduling easier opponents to increase their chance of making the college football playoffs, he had this to say about it. They want to play the best teams in the country all the time, and there is no way we're going to go away from the mentality to try to schedule down to appease whatever. I guess I should stop there before I get in trouble, right? Cristobal said. These guys deserve to find out how good they are by playing against the best, so we're going to continue doing that. I don't know if I'll get in trouble for talking about it. Again, he brings that up. The playoff system, that is. But I think there has to be a lot of weight placed on winning your conference. Clearly, Cristobal, a little slighted by the way the system works and a lack of representation the Pac-12 has been getting in the college football playoffs in recent years. And let's be completely frank here. A part of this is what he's saying. It's not wrong. But if there's some sort of, you know, salt or upsetness that a team from his conference didn't make it this year, then you go and you'll start looking at the resumes of Oregon compared to the other college football playoff teams. Oregon, they beat two teams that are in the top 25 this year. Georgia, they've beaten three top 25 teams. Clemson, zero. LSU, three. OSU, four. Utah, zero. Again, zero. Now, if they beat Oregon yesterday, we're talking a different story here. But you know, minus Clemson's resume, which, you know, we can laugh about them being in the playoffs. If they lose this game, that should be a controversial one right there. If Clemson makes it another team that hasn't beaten anybody all year, does the Pac-12 deserve a spot though when you go over those resumes, right? And absolutely not. How could you let a Pac-12 team in, a two-loss Pac-12 team in just because they won their conference with resumes like that? Not with two losses, not when there's four spots up for grabs and other teams are so much better down there. Now, if Utah wins, that's a completely different story. They beat Oregon, they won their conference. And the reason I think he brings up, you know, he brings up this situation in the first place, it might not necessarily be about the Oregon situation this year, but the situation with the college football playoffs in general. We talk about Baylor, Oklahoma this weekend, how big that game is going to be. And the problem, more importantly, with this win conference stuff, I don't think it was a shot at saying we deserve to be in as much as I think it's a shot at saying, what are you doing with the SEC? You look at the Alabama dilemma here. If Georgia would have lost this weekend and Alabama would have won last weekend, it was more than likely we were going to see Alabama in the playoffs this season. And how in the heck can you say Alabama, a team, you know, the point he's bringing up, how can you say Alabama, a team that hasn't beaten a top 25 team all year, granted they would have won loan last week, they beat Auburn, haven't beaten one all year, had a cupcake schedule minus LSU, how can you argue that team that couldn't even make their conference championship game should have been in the college football playoffs. He is not wrong there. That is absolutely ridiculous to think every other team out there that's going to make this college football playoff has to play a championship game. They all have to play the toughest game of the season from their conference one more time. Alabama gets to skip that. How do you just say the SEC deserves that spot if you're Alabama? And you look at, you know, the Oklahoma situation or you look at Utah if they win. Oklahoma, you know, if they win, their only loss all season, you know, this weekend that is, if they win, their only loss this season is the Kansas State, a team you could argue deserves to be ranked. A one-loss Oklahoma team, their only loss being to a ranked team, beating Baylor twice. The resume is obviously there to get, you know, a fourth conference into the college football playoffs. And again, you know, we talked about the Bama thing. I think the difficult thing that becomes here, even these teams that have played ranked teams, they didn't play ranked teams that were outside of their conference for the most part. And so what? You're going to go into a college football playoffs. And this is the bigger issue, I think, at the end of the day that doesn't get talked about a lot here is, are you going to go into, see now Georgia, Georgia got bailed out here because Georgia beat Notre Dame. Georgia went out there and beat an out of conference team and said, hey, look, we can beat teams out of our conference. We're a true threat. They proved a point. But let's say a different team Maybe they say Oregon or say Georgia doesn't play a team out of conference. They play a cupcake week schedule outside of conference. They go to their conference and their only loss all season is to a conference team and they don't win their championship. Do they de then deserve to make playoffs? Because at that point you're saying, well, your one loss team is better than our one loss team just based on conferences and not so much mutual games played because you don't see that. You don't see the big powerhouse teams go against each other very often. In that case there though, you could make the argument and say, well, no, you can't let the one loss Oregon team in or the one loss or Utah team in when Georgia beat them. If Georgia beat Oregon, Oregon beat Utah, you get the point. Like it, it makes sense then. You're pretty, you can just, you know, by mutual opponents, you can say, well, Georgia deserves to be in here. All in all, though, if you're Oregon, win, your, win the game. If you wanted to be in playoffs, you beat Auburn. You're in playoffs right now, probably. I think that's the end-all, be-all story. If you're concerned about your conference not getting the representation in the college football playoffs, schedule more difficult non-conference games and prove you're a threat to be reckoned with. I do think they do need to take 
conference championships into more consideration you know when it does come down to tiebreaker stuff past you know strength of schedule you can't give a team that can't even make their conference final or conference championship a playoff berth they're not even the best team in their conference how can you consider them for the best teams in a country